I'm Steve Kress, the director of Project Puppin. Little is known about the migrations of puppins, but what we do know is that they leave the coast of Maine in mid-August. Prior to it, just a few years ago, nothing was known about the winter movements of puppins, but we have been experimenting with little devices called geolocators, attaching these to the leg bands. We have to recapture the puffin after it's been at sea to download the information. And we only have two of these so far that have, have given us information that, that helps to enlighten us about the movements of puffins during their migration. One of these puffins named, one of these puffins named Kebet uh, has told us that after the nesting season, he moved north uh, into the Gulf of St. Lawrence, where he spent much of the winter, then headed south, where he wintered in the coldest seasons off the Bermuda Plateau before returning back to the main coast. That was the first year of travels. The device was on his legs for two years, and when we finally took it off, we had two years of information. Second year, Cabot headed back to the Gulf of St. Lawrence, then headed north up into the Labrador Sea, and then again back to the Bermuda Plateau before heading back to the nesting islands. So that, for that bird, uh, that seems to be where Cabot went. He varied it from one year to the next. He stayed in the Northeast. He migrated north rather than south after the nesting season. That was a bit of a surprise. And, um, but we need to learn a lot more because that's just one bird and the each bird could have a different migration pattern. When the puffins are at sea, they are totally um, independent, living, floating on the sea surface, diving under for food, sleeping on the water, uh, drinking salt water, excreting the excess salt out of their nostrils. And during this time, they're often far out at sea where there are not a lot of predators. Most predators are close to shore. So heading offshore is probably a pretty good idea for a seabird if you, in fact, can survive the extreme weather and be able to survive far from land. So predation is probably not a big issue for puffins far offshore. Maybe one of the reasons why they go there. We do know that from banding recoveries that about 95% of the puffins, of the breeding age puffins, survive from one year to the next. 